Here we go, WWF Tour 2024, first one of the year, and it's another early rise. 1.21 in the morning, that gets the thumbs down, but what gets the thumbs up is a cheap, nasty breakfast from the airport. Zach, it was his birthday on this day, so let's wish Zach a happy birthday down in the comments, which meant he had to have a pint with his breakfast. Now, Zach not being a bit of a drinker, ended up taking ages over the first half of his pint, but was running a bit late now for the flight, so he had to down it, and as it's his birthday, it went down the hatch which kind of knocked him out a little bit throughout the day but got down to our flight it was an early morning 5.55 over to Romania and every time I seem to go to this part of the world it always seems to be covered in snow and that sort of happened again here remember the Servia blog from the back end of last year where it snowed the entire time and was sort of knee deep this one wasn't as bad it was a bit snowy on the ground but I think it sort of cleared over the couple of days before we got over to book a rest it was not even that cold actually to be fair I still managed to walk around in the shorts as I tend to do all year round but we headed down to our hotel for a bit of an afternoon nap and when we got to the room that was where the first sort of silly part of this campaign happened first of all this is our twin room you can have a look at the beds to say that there's not much of a gap there you know I like Zach but maybe need a bit more of space and certainly need more space from him in regards to the shower the shower in the actual room with a glass door so we couldn't even have a rule where we sort of roll over and face the other way because there was a mirror on that far wall so we couldn't even have a back to the shower rule because then you're facing it through the mirror anyway there was a glass door to the side as well you'd have seen that 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 was actually the toilet so we didn't stay there too long before going and have a little walk around bucharest and Sort of trying to sample the local area. We certainly sampled the local cuisine, that was for sure. One thing was it was quite cheap over in Romania. That was surprisingly cheap, should I say, in regards to the cost of things. And thank you to a subscriber who did warn me beforehand that they don't do euros. Saw the mistake I made in Serbia. I nearly made it again, but I did manage to get exchange for Romanian Lee at the airport. So thank you for the local knowledge there in the live chat that sort of bailed me out of that situation as it was Zach's birthday thought we'll take him for a little bit of a special meal a bit of lamb tenderloin baked potato burger chips oh it was fantastic and really cheap it worked out to about 40 quid for an amazing meal look at that one of the finest meals I've ever had and I even chucked in a bit of a dessert now, like a lot of these events, big entries here, 600 or so players taking part on 40 or so boards. So it's an early rise, early morning, early start, because you need to be registered and ready to go by around about 10 o'clock. So headed down to the venue nice and early, get in there, have a little look round, get used to the facilities, understand where things like the toilets are, because once it's time to go this room is very full like you could be four or five people deep on a practice board certainly when the tournament starts there's no point in even trying to practice you're sort of seven deep tough to move around the venue these are very very popular still on the darting calendar but how did my darts go? So all the games was on the Darts Connect system. You can see all the stats, averages, and games here. I was actually quite encouraged with parts of it. So naturally, I'm going to be rusty. But you can see here, just good moments. So I started 23 darts, 14, 14, 24. So it was like two really good legs in the middle. And this was kind of the theme. Some legs really good, some legs a bit off. But in general, a lot of it just came down to just a couple of missed sort of shots and opportunities. You'll see quite a few sort of throughout the review I'm going to do here quite a lot of tumblers checkouts I did quite a few of those but also good sort of consistency around those trebler term visits so I was quite happy with that other than that last leg that was just nothing there in that one but overall quite a tidy performance in in parts same sort of thing here in the second game so you see a 14 and a 13 data sandwiched with a 21 and a 24 so again like encouraging signs and moments and sort of got better you see as the day went on so 80 83 86 87 i was sort of improving and again when we sort of look through that sort of game detail lots of nice sort of trebled scores got a few more 180s than i normally sort of would expect to get not traditionally a big 180 hitter but i say good consistency this was quite a a good check out here because actually at that point this was 2-2 two, two. 
uh, 2 1, and he set up 38 to go ahead, and I hit 20, double 18, double 16. So a double double there to go 3 1 ahead and sort of get a bit of authority in that game. This one I thought was a, again, another decent performance, a 4 0 victory in this one. This was probably one of my happier performances because it was just all consistent in that 16 to 18 bracket block. That's where I want to be. 16 to 18 darts, six visits to the board. You're going to win a lot of games with that sort of standard um, in the WDF. Now, this day was very frustrating for me on the Saturday because I feel this was one that got away. I, I actually was 3 0 down in this game to Gary Blackwood, but I feel like this was one because the quarterfinals and the last 16, so this was last 32, the quarterfinals and the the next round, the last 16, it was like 72 and 75 averages thrown against, so a real nice passageway there to get to the semi final of this event, and I didn't get it. This was a good finish from Gary in the opening leg. He hit a big five with the first start, treble 19, double 19. It's horrible when you're standing behind that. You think, oh, yeah, here we go. Um, and it was quite a decent performance throughout. I missed the 155, and then I missed three double eight, and he's took out 68. Two darts again, nice little kill there. Um, I've started really getting into it now, starting to reel it back. Three one, three two, another one eighty there. Nice little fifteen darter there with another tumblers checkout. I think that's like my fifth tumblers checkout of the day um, to make it three three, and then played like an absolute numpty. I mean, the sixty was close all on the wire. The was it the 45 or the 50? One of these had like hit a deflection and gone in the treble 7. And it's like, oh, it's going to be one of them, is it? And Gary, fair play to him. 15 dart leg when you're looking at clinging onto it. But yeah, I weren't happy with that leg. And it really did sort of let down what was potentially a, a nice route and passage into the semi-finals. Next day on the Sunday. Um, again, I mean, this game with Kevin Merritt was quite interesting. Because if you look at how he started here. Actually starts quite well. 17 dart leg there. This leg down quite quick. Then just started missing doubles. So you see it, 80, 125, 180. Sets up it, missed doubles and then just never recovered from that. So I was happy to get the day up and running. I was feeling a little bit sort of stiff. This was statistically my best performance of the day, uh, of the weekend. But actually the way i felt in this i didn't feel too good which is ironic but again you'll see here 180 a 174 and another 180 so lots of maximum visits throughout sort of my campaign in the uh, romanian event for three here now ignore the average ignore the average here because this one now I, I don't like to talk about things but like that are distracting but this one was quite distracting in terms of the market kept getting a few things wrong. I said every leg there was something wrong or needed correcting or needed changing. Now, it's frustrating to play. It's hard to play. And you're like always telling yourself, I know better. I should know better. Set an example, you know. But I, I was getting a little bit frustrated inside. This leg, look, 180, 140, lovely. Ignore all this bit. Like, we had extra scores put in here. I, I think I missed three darts and then got it with the next one on the third dart or something like that. But... He, he got confused with, like, um, what side of the board it was on. So he just kept putting misses or busts. And, like, he's busted twice. on, on uh, Three times he's gone at 100 and what. It, it just it, bonkers sort of thing. So that's why I say just ignore the averages in that one because it was sort of killed a little bit. Um, delighted to get over the line in this one. Out nervy, edgy game, frustrating game. Just let it sort of bubble up a little bit inside. And then 4-3 defeat to David Edwards. Same sort of thing here. Did go behind. Went 1-0 down. Set up 24 after 15 darts. Good leg of darts there. Unfortunate bounce out on the 40. Um, lost the first one. Got it back. Went 2-1 down. Missed a dart of the ball for the 130. 3-1 down. Same sort of thing. Started playing some good darts. Out in 15 darts there. Out in 16 darts. Again, exactly in that little bracket and that box I wanted to be. And then lost that one. He had the darts. 16 darts. He's gone out. I've missed one dart at double 16. I've hit it just inside the wire on the double eight. Ended up losing that one. So tight, tight game, but two last 32s.
So unfortunately for me, it was no stage games this time, but it was 18 points on the rankings. Not what I hoped for, but okay to start with. Some well-deserved winners over the week. It's hard to play in these things with so many entries, and I've took a lot of things away that I'm going to try and put into place, which I'll let you know at the end of this video. But for me, I didn't go down and watch on the Sunday. I stayed back, and unfortunately I had to listen to Zach and his new girlfriend play Who Hangs Up First. Bye. 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 You got hang out this time. No, you're going. No. Rock, paper, scissors. And I mentioned before that I'm going to work hard and try hard to make sure this lakeside goal and journey happens and happens properly. And that's what's going to be happening now. On the way home, I was chatting to Zach and reflecting on things. I've got to get fitter. Not just in terms of going and having treatment done, that's not what I need. I also need to get fitter, so I'm going to be back in the gym. I need to at least lose a stone, a little bit of light resistance work where possible, as long as that's in line with what the physio is going to allow me to do as well. So, not just a case of throwing darts, I'm also going to look at the physical side of things as well to make sure that I can get this right, because just I need the energy to sustain over a long period of time. Last little story for you, we was laughing all the time at people getting priority boarding just so they could get onto a bus. We ended up being the first ones on the plane, went to the wrong seats, held up the whole plane because we ended up on an emergency row, and this was at the point where the plane should have been taking off, but unfortunately we kind of held it all up. So we wasn't the most popular people. We ended up being about 30 minutes or so late on the takeoff, but not, not too bad. We'll, we'll take that. Back to England, back to the plan, back to the drawing board, back to the practice board, back to the gym. Let's take this up a notch. That wasn't good enough. I will do better. And I also do recommend go subscribe to the Mission YouTube channel because that is loaded with stuff. I'm going to be putting lots of videos on there over the next couple of days and weeks. So do go subscribe there and check out some of the content I'm going to be putting on that channel. Uh, my next event that I'm planning on doing is going to be in Scotland. But that is going to depend on the numbers. If there's five, 600 people there, I don't think I'm going to be able to meet the demands of that in terms of a tournament. So I'm keeping an eye on the entry numbers for that one. If I can, I'll get myself to Scotland and that'll be the next one. If not, I'm hoping to get over to Slovak later on in February. A huge thank you to the people that have signed up to support me via my Patreon page. That is Mad Viking Darts, Eric Zickler, Michael Korf, Brian Kersley. They have signed up to the full package, which means their names are going to be in the videos when we're going out and tour on the WDF. And also, if I do make Lakeside, their name's going to be piped into the design of the shirt. If you also want to join those guys, check out the description below. There's the ways you can support me. All these funds go completely into the WDF tour, the travelling and everything that comes with it. It's a very, very expensive tour, so I do really, really appreciate all the support I'm getting there. But until another video, guys... Catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.